Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis, bringing you a new video on enemy behaviors in Unity 3D for our space combat prototype series that we've been working on. And today I'm going to show you a really simple method for having spaceships follow you and fly around and chase you. And um, this concept is very, very simple. Let's take a look at the setup of our enemy ship. I've got the ship selected and we can see that I have a rigid body attached to it and the script. And the rigid body has a mass of 2,000, it has a drag of 1, and an angular drag of 2, which right now isn't actually going to matter. But we'll go ahead and discuss that in just a second. Our script has a torque of 1, again, really isn't going to matter, a thrust of 4,000, and it has our player's transform, so we know where our player is going to be located. So, let's jump into the code. On the code, you can see we have our torque we are declaring we can change, again, which we're not using. We have our thrust, which is, which is 1000F. Uh, by default, I think I set it to 4000 to give it a little bit of speed, because otherwise I move a little too fast for it. Yeah, I gave it 40,000. And we have our private rigid body, so we're going to grab that rigid body, and then our public transform player, so we're going to find that player's location. In the start method, all we're doing is just grabbing that rigid body component and setting it equal to the rigid body we declared up here. Then we move on to fixed update. And in this function, we're using transform.lookat and then passing the player to make the ship always face the player. So no matter where the player is, the ship is going to turn to face the player. And so that's really easy. Not much else to do there. It's also a little too simplistic. I'm working on developing a ship that actually has some brains that needs to choose where to go and then control the ship. And I also am really working on this. You can see down here, void bad code. Uh, that's the code I'm working on right now to actually make it seem like there's something trying to move the ship and rotate it and control it. Um, but right now, I'm struggling with a couple of issues where, depending on the angle, the enemy ship will lock up facing a direction uh, until certain movements have been made, and then it continues on. So I'm trying to smooth those out at this point. Uh, but otherwise, you know, generally speaking, it works. Once I've got that squared away, I'll put that in another video. It may be a couple videos away because I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to smooth it, uh, but we'll get there. So in terms of how we actually moved the enemy ship, this is a little more complicated, but again, very simplistic. All we're doing is getting the location of the player or actually our target location. And we're just going to say the player's position minus our position. And then we're grabbing the distance from the player. So we're getting the magnitude of that vector. And once we have the magnitude, we are going to add a force to the rigid body. So this is making us look in a direction and this is going to tell us how much force we should be adding. So the way I have this set up is we are going to push the object forward and times our thrust, but we're also going to decrease our speed once we get closer so that we aren't making that ship be right on us all the time. It's not going to like spin around. It's going to stop about 10. Actually, it is. It's going to stop 10, um, 10 units away, basically. So distance minus 10. We're saying once we get to 10, we're at zero out of 50. So that's our, and the math.clamp is saying here, this whole function here inside this is basically saying either pick the number or at minimum zero or at maximum one. So what we're saying is between zero and one, we're going to we're going to basically go up to our max thrust. And so as we get further than 50 units away, we actually start hitting our max. So if we were at say 60, for example, our distance is 60, then we've actually got our max force being applied because that's going to hit the clamp of one or equal to one. But essentially, once we're 60 minus 10, we're at 50 over 50, which is one. That's the max we can go. Once we start getting to 40 and 30 and 20 units away, the ship is going to apply less and less force and then it's going to stop 10 units away. Once it hits zero, the minimum, we have no thrust at all. So. That's how the ship moves, and you can see, we'll just kind of start it up again, and we'll just watch what happens when it starts flying towards us, and it starts to apply less and less force, and then it gets about 10 away, and then slowly stops, and it greets us, 
And we can try to shoot it. Be, 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 be. Oh, no, nothing's happening yet. We'll have to work on that. Um, but anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully we can have something really more interesting next time. But uh, hopefully if you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.